The U.S. Air Force made a significant announcement concerning land acquired by a Chinese company in Grand Forks. Joel Crane tells us what they said and what's next for the $700 million proposed corn milling plant on the property. Senator Scott Meyer says the writing is on the wall for Fufeng in North Dakota. I don't know how else to take that letter. It's, it's time to basically pull the plug. The letter he's referring to came from the Air Force, who announced their position on the land deal for the first time. And the Air Force left no ambiguity, right? Uh, when they said the proposed project presents a significant threat to national security with both near and long-term risks of significant impacts to our operation in the area. And in fact, that's exactly what happened. Grand Forks Mayor Brandon Bachensky announced he plans to stop the project in accordance with requests from the federal government. He said that the only remedies the city has to meet this directive is to refuse to connect industrial infrastructure and deny building permits. He said he's requesting these remedies to be undertaken and the project to be stopped pending city council approval. North Dakota's congressional delegation has been firm in their opposition to the land deal. So instead of working with Fufang, the city, all of us should work together as we've recommended to find an American company for their ag park. Fufang USA will still own the land acquired for the plant. In Bismarck, I'm Joel Crane reporting for your news leader. Mayor Brandon Bochensky expressed frustration with, with the speed at which the federal government moved to offer an opinion about Fufang. He called the process slow and contradictory and said this opens the question of other entities with Chinese connections across the nation to include Grand Forks Circus Aircraft's Cirrus aircraft site location and Chinese students and professors at the University of North Dakota.